Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcraft, and today we're going to be going over one of the topics that comes up quite a bit, and especially for new candle makers that are just getting into this, and that is candle math. And I actually have done a video on this one before, but it's really old, so I figured I would go back through, uh, kind of redo this one. It's uh, a little bit easier for me to explain now, so I thought it would be a good idea to really go through and update this video to make the candle math process a little bit easier for everyone. And of course, for anyone that wants a little bit more information after this video is is done. I do have the candle math sheets on my website, which are a free downloadable item. And it looks like this right here, which you cannot see in the videos, which this is what it looks like right here, but you can't really see that on the video. So I'll go ahead and throw the picture up on the video so that you can see it. And of course I'll have the link to that free PDF on the website in the video description down below. Uh, and as you can see, I just got this in. Let me see if I can actually get some decent lighting on that one so you can see it. Uh, this is the candle testing journal. So along with those sheets that you can download, there are testing sheets, and I'll go ahead and pop that up here too, uh, the candle math sheet, and then note sheets. And of course, like I said, it's a free download, so anybody can go there, go to the website, download those, and you can print them off as many times as you want. But for those that actually want a printed version, I do sell these on the website. Uh, they're available for pre-orders. I just got this one in, made a couple final revisions in this one, changed the color of the actual notebook itself. Uh, but it's about, I think, 58 pages total and it comes with uh, the candle test sheets and the note fields and project planning sheets. So definitely go over, check out the website and get one of the new candle journals. Uh, like I said, they're up for pre-order and they should be shipping out within the next one to two weeks. And for today's video, I'm gonna be going over exactly what this sheet has. So we're gonna be going into candle math. And like I said, this is a topic that comes up quite a bit. Uh, there's a lot of confusion that goes into this. So I'm gonna break it down as simple as possible for anybody that's looking to figure out their oil percentages their wax, anything like that, so that you know exactly how much to put in to any vessel that you're gonna be using. And for this one, I'm gonna be doing a couple different methods. Uh, both of them are gonna work no matter what you're doing. Uh, if you're not gonna use the first method, you just go right to the second one, and this is gonna work for, like I said, for any vessel, no matter what size you're using or what oil percentage you're using, the, this formula is gonna be the exact same across the board. So the first one I'm gonna talk about, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it over the screen right here so that everybody can see it and kind of follow along, is if you get a vessel something like this and you don't know what the actual wax and oil weight or volume that's going to be going into this one so i'm going to show you the water method and then we'll move on to just the basic candle math so the water method is if you have a vessel you don't know what size it is and if you got it from a website that may not list the fill weight or the wax fill weight what you're going to want to do is fill that up with water to the level that you're going to want your candle wax so for this one, as you can see, you would probably fill this all the way to the top. I'd say probably about 90% of the way up. And for this one, I know exactly what this one is, but I'm gonna go off the calculations that are in the book so that when you get the book uh, or the PDF sheets, you can follow along exactly with those. So what you're gonna do with that one, and the reason that you wanna use water weight if you don't know exactly how much gets in there. So the reason that you would use the water method, like I said, you don't know exactly how much wax and oil is gonna fit in this. So what you're gonna wanna do is fill the vessel completely up with water, and then you're gonna measure the water. Now you can't just add that same weight. So this vessel right here holds about 14 ounces. So, so when you fill your vessel with water, you're gonna weigh that. So if it comes up to 10 ounces, 12 ounces, 14 ounces, whatever it is, there is a calculation to get that water weight to match the wax weight because although the weight between 16 ounces of water and 16 ounces of wax are exactly the same, the volume is gonna be different. And the reason for that is wax is a lot more dense than water. So we definitely need to take that into consideration. And the reason we do that is because, like I said, the volume is gonna be different. So if we fill this up to the rim with water, let's call it 14 ounces, and then we put 14 ounces of wax in here, the wax is bigger by volume, so it's gonna overflow off of the top. So we need to calculate what that's gonna be and that is always gonna be right around like 0.86. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this up on the screen and we'll go through this and I'll show you exactly what the candle math is to find your water method to wax. So for this one, what we're gonna do is you're gonna fill up your vessel. Uh, you can follow along in the sheet and I'll do this by ounces and grams. So what you're gonna wanna do is fill up the vessel. It's gonna go all the way to the top. Let's call it 10 ounces and you're gonna want to use the calculation and you're gonna multiply that by 0.86. And 0.86 is the density difference between water and wax. So if you had 10 ounces of water times 0.86, your wax weight is actually gonna be 8.6 ounces 
or 243 grams. And again, that density difference is probably a little different between a couple waxes, but 0.86 is usually perfect for almost all waxes that I've used. So again, you're gonna fill your vessel all the way to the top where you want your wax line to be. In this example, it's gonna be 10 ounces, 10 times 0.86, and we're gonna get 8.6 ounces of wax. Now that's gonna be your total combined weight at the very end when you mix your oils and your wax together, 8.6 ounces. So now that you found out exactly how much wax and oil go into the jar, now we need to figure out your oil percentage and calculate that one. So what we're gonna do is move on to the next portion of the candle sheet, and you can just move right down the list with me. So for this one, you've got your 8.6 ounces, and you're gonna divide that by the entire candle plus your oil percentage that you're gonna be using. So if it's 10%, 9%, 8%, the second portion of that number is going to change. So we're gonna take 8.6 ounces and we're gonna divide that by 1.10 and that one zero is gonna be our 10%. So if you wanted 9%, you would divide that by 1.09, 1.08 for 8%, 0.07 for 7%, and on through the list. So again, we're gonna take 8.6 ounces, divided by 1.10, and you're gonna come up with 7.82 ounces of wax. Now that's your wax weight. And then of course, to find your oil, all you're gonna do is subtract 7.82 ounces from 8.6. And the difference between those two is gonna be your oil percentage. And the difference between those two is gonna be the weight of your oil, which in this example is 0.78 ounces. And again, I've got this sheet on the website that you can print out for free, and everything is laid out really easy on the sheet so that you can go through and figure out exactly what your weights are. And then of course, the last calculation is one of the easier ones, and that is, if you're not looking to do the water method, you're not really concerned about what your wax weight is going into a particular vessel and you just want to know oil percentages. So if you want to find out what your oil percentage is for any weight on any wax, all you're going to do is multiply that by your percentage, which is going to be 0 0.10 for 10, 0.09 for 9%, 0 0.08 for 8%. So if you had 16 ounces of wax and you just wanna know what 10% is and you're gonna add that to 16 ounces of wax, you would just do 16 times 0 0.10. And that's gonna be 1.6 ounces of oil. And then you would just go right on down the list if you had a different oil percentage. So if you had 9%, you would do 16 ounces times 0 0.09. If it was 8%, 16 times 0 0.08. So again, I'm gonna run through this one real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and put everything on the screen in the ounces and grams. Grams are a little bit easier. Uh, you get more of a precise result with these, but you can use whatever you're comfortable with. I've always used ounces just because the scales and everything I have, uh, everything is in ounces, so I've just never converted over. I do use grams a little bit kind of here and there, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it up right here. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna fill your vessel all the way to the top. In this example, it's 10 ounces, and then you're gonna multiply that by 0.86, which equals 8.6 ounces of total weight. That's gonna be your wax and your oil combined. After that, you're gonna to wanna to find your oil percentage that's gonna go into that 8.6 ounces. And there's another calculation to figure out exactly what your wax and oil together are going to be to get that combined weight of 8.6 ounces. So for this one, we're gonna take 8.6 ounces and you can see over on the side right here. So the first thing you wanna do is find your oil percentage. So if you're using 8% or 9% or 10%, you're gonna to wanna to know what that one is so that we can make this calculation work for you. So in this example, we're gonna be using 10%, so we're gonna be dividing by 1.10 and that one zero is your oil percentage. And you would just adjust that if you were using 9% or 8%, so you'd be dividing by 1.09, 1.08, 1.07, so that you get your desired oil amount in that end weight. So what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna take that 8.6 ounces, we're gonna divide by 1.10, which equals 7.82 ounces of wax, and that is just your wax weight. And then of course, to find how much oil you're gonna add, all you're gonna do is subtract that 7.82 ounces from 8.6, which ends up being 0.78 ounces of oil. And then of course, if you add those two together, 7.82 ounces of wax and 0.78 ounces of oil, you get your 8.6 ounces. 
which is gonna fit perfectly into that vessel. And that's pretty much it with this one. I tried to make this one a little bit simpler. Uh, I think in my first video, it's a little bit confusing because I, I was kind of all over the place. Uh, hopefully the uh, the screen that I put up right here with the actual number showing on there, uh, it makes a little bit more sense than I tried to make in the first video. And again, you can get these sheets for free that go through and show you these exact calculations on my website. It's at West Sound Candle Supply. Uh, just go over to the printed product section and it's a free download and it comes with three sheets. It comes with the candle testing sheet, it comes with the math sheet, and it comes with note sheets. And definitely jump over and pick up one of the new candle journals. Like, like I said, these are gonna be shipping out here in the next one to two weeks. Uh, these things are really nice for doing any kind of testing that you're gonna be doing with your candles. Uh, it's got sections in here for doing absolutely everything. The wax weight, uh, cure times, cold throw, hot throw. And they are extremely helpful when it comes to testing a bunch of different candles. But that's pretty much it with this one. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see when new videos come out. And we'll see you in the next one.